In a significant leap for its air defense capabilities, the Republic of Korea Armed Forces has commissioned the Chongwang Skylight High Energy Laser HL, system, officially entering service on October 4, 2024, during the KDEX 2024 exhibition. The system, developed as a sophisticated anti-aircraft solution, represents a cutting-edge method for intercepting aerial threats such as drones, UAVs, missiles, and other airborne objects. By utilizing high-energy lasers instead of traditional munitions, Chongwang offers a rapid, precise, and cost-effective approach to modern aerial warfare, addressing the rising use of unmanned systems. The Chongwang system, developed by Hanwha Aerospace in collaboration with South Korea's Agency for Defense Development, ADD, is a core part of South Korea's strategy to counter the growing threat from North Korea. With North Korea increasing its investment in drone technology and missile systems, the need for an advanced, adaptable defense solution has become more critical. The HEL system can detect, track, and neutralize low-altitude targets, offering South Korea a powerful and cost-effective response to both current and future threats. One of the system's major advantages is its ability to counter swarm tactics and saturation attacks, which involve multiple drones or missiles overwhelming conventional air defenses. By using directed energy, the HEL system can engage numerous targets without the logistical concerns of reloading ammunition. The system relies solely on electricity, making it highly cost-effective, with each shot estimated to cost just $1.45, 2001. The Block I Chongwang system, which has been in development since 2019, was designed by South Korea's Defense Acquisition Program Administration, DAPA, with a budget of $63 million. It is a container-sized, land-based laser weapon measuring 9 meters long, 3 meters wide, and 3 meters high, 29.5 by 9.8 by 9.8 feet. The system uses a 20kW optical fiber laser, capable of generating heat of approximately 700 degrees C over 10 to 20 second bursts, sufficient to disable small and mid-sized drones and UAVs at an effective range of up to 3 kilometers. The Chongwang system is equipped with a radar mast for detecting and tracking aerial targets, ensuring precise engagement with minimal risk of collateral damage. It operates silently and invisibly, making it ideal for deployment in urban or high-density areas, where traditional missile defense systems might pose additional risks. The Chongwang HEL system's high-energy output allows it to rapidly neutralize aerial threats by damaging or destroying their electronic components, such as guidance systems or propulsion units, without the need for explosive force. Its high-frequency laser beams are highly effective against fast-moving objects, with the precision to target specific parts of the threat, minimizing potential collateral damage. Initially designed to counter small aerial threats, the Chongwang system is expected to evolve to handle larger targets such as aircraft or ballistic missiles in future iterations. Plans for upgraded versions include increased power output and enhanced range capabilities, potentially expanding its role within South Korea's multi-layered air defense network. In addition to its technological advantages, the Chongwang system offers significant cost savings compared to traditional missile-based defenses. The system's reliance on electricity instead of physical ammunition allows for continuous operation against multiple incoming threats, an important factor in scenarios where North Korea might employ swarm attacks. Its rapid engagement and cost efficiency will significantly bolster South Korea's ability to protect against low-altitude incursions and maintain a robust defense posture. The commissioning of the Chongwang High Energy Laser System marks a major milestone in South Korea's defense strategy. As unmanned aerial threats become more prevalent in modern warfare, the integration of laser-based weapons like the Chongwang provides the Republic of Korea with a highly adaptable and effective tool for maintaining airspace security. The system's potential for future upgrades ensures that it will remain a key component of South Korea's defense arsenal in the years to come, particularly in the face of evolving challenges from North Korea.